What's up guys, it's Terribly Tactical again here, and uh, today we're going to go over another knife. Um, this one happens to be the uh, Sog Fielder. It's uh, a folding knife, and um, originally it was uh, kind of like a folding hunter, but uh, they got a couple different varieties of this, and uh, it can actually be found just at your local Walmart. Um... I actually got this at a Walmart in Michigan when I was there on my property for a hunting trip and it was twenty dollars and uh, it was a value pack and it came with a couple other things and I'll show you that here in a minute but uh, the knife itself it's, uh, it's a pretty nice knife um, it's the SOG fielder is probably not going to focus but it says SOG fielder right there um, it's a nice uh, brushed black uh, finish on the blade and it's got a really nice edge uh, out of the box super sharp the uh, blade steel is uh, 7CR so it's not the best but for 20 bucks which is what I paid for it and uh, you know it came with the, uh, the other things to it that's not a bad deal at all and plus it's a SOG so uh, you really can't go wrong so yeah the blade steel is uh, 7CR it's a uh, black finish, metal brushed, uh, super sharp out of the box, and uh, it's a folder. It's a liner lock, as you can see there, and uh, the lockup is super, super strong. There's absolutely no movement up or down, no movement side to side, no blade play at all. And uh, it's easily opened and closed with one hand, and uh, I don't know what kind of uh, bushings are in there. Um, they're almost white from what I can see, maybe ceramic, but I doubt it, or something like that. But, I mean, it just glides right open. When I first got it, it was a little stiffer, but after just playing with it and, you know, flipping it open and stuff, it, it loosened up. And uh, this is the, uh, the grip. And uh, it's got uh, G10 uh, digital camo print uh, handle scales, and this is just kind of... Um, just a little embedded piece it's just glued in there and uh, actually when I first bought it and I was trying to uh, loosen up the uh, the blade there opening up uh, it actually came loose and came out it's just it was just glued in there but obviously not that well um, which doesn't affect the functionality of the knife whatsoever but without this uh, this in there it does have um, a divot in the handle that was a little bit annoying so all I did was just put some super glue in there pressed it down held it for a little bit and it's been perfectly fine ever since um, but yeah real nice there the G10 is not as refined or as grippy as uh, my spider coat tenacious but it still is G10 and it still does give you some resistance so it's it's pretty nice and especially for 20 bucks I mean what could you ask for and I mean look at that look at just how you know it's super smooth just comes out um, the thumb stud could be a little bit uh, raised, a little bit more raised. As you can see, it's almost completely in line with the handle. But uh, if you get it in the right uh, position, that you have no problem opening it whatsoever. So there's that. And, uh, you know, I, th I think it's a nice looking knife. Uh, it has more of like a classic uh, design to it. It looks more like a hunter knife, a hunter folder with the way that the, uh, the handle is, the grip. But... Uh, you know, it's definitely uh, qualifies for EDC or any type of tactical purpose. Um, the blade length is three and a half inches long, so you could definitely use it for uh, self-defense if need be. And uh, speaking of self-defense, with the blade closed or even with it open, um, the bottom of the handle here sticks out when you're gripping it, and uh, that could be definitely used as an impact weapon, and a non-lethal. So there's that. And uh, it's a pretty nice knife overall. And uh, as all SOG knives that I've seen, the folders, the uh, the pocket clip is super deep, super deep. And uh, the only thing that sticks out is this little knob right here on the end of your pocket. And not even that much, depending on what kind of pants you're wearing. That might just, you know, blend right in anyway. But super deep pocket carry, I like that. Uh, Width-wise, it's definitely slim. Uh, it's a little thicker here, especially including the, the pocket clip. And uh, for the most part, it's about three-quarter closed design um, on the back here. 
Um, there is obviously a little bit of air in there, but uh, no, uh, no big worries there. And uh, it's just, it's a nice knife, and uh, it's super sharp out of the box, like I was saying. And uh, I did some cutting tests with it, and a uh, little bit of wood processing, and uh, definitely kept an edge uh, for what I did with it. I did a little bit of notching work with it, and, uh, you know, just cutting some rope and some paper, and, and uh, it's pretty nice, I must say. It is a little bit hefty, though. It's a little heavy, but, you know, it's really, it's not that bad for, you know, overall for what it is, um, and especially the price, I think that you could not go wrong with this. I mean, it's a SOG first off. Uh, I like the shape of the blade. I don't know exactly what you would call that. It's almost more of like a a Bowie, Bowie knife, however you want to say it. Uh, it's style blade. But, uh, you know, and it's, it's decently thick. You probably can't really tell too good, but it, it's thick enough. And uh, it's got a nice little thumb ramp up here. Uh, which I wish they would have put a little bit of jimping there because it is a little bit slick. Um, but you can get a nice purchase holding it like that, a nice regular grip like that. And if you're doing notching or any type of, uh, you know, finer work, uh, this little ramp up here on the blade, uh, you can put your thumb in there and, you know, really choke up on it. So it, it's a pretty decent blade, and uh, especially for the money, like I said. I mean, G10 scales, even though they're not the best or the most refined, you know, it does have the little... ACU digital camo and you know it's a sock so there's that I like the way it looks I like the way it functions and the price you can't beat that excuse me let me fix this a little bit <clears throat> and then I was talking about the uh, the value pack that it came in uh, it came with a knife obviously and then I have this on my keys but uh it says SOG signal fire and this is actually a all-weather whistle with no P, obviously. There's uh, the whistle part. Let me show you. <whistles> Definitely loud and works. And then here, when you push this button and pull it out, you got a little magnesium rod and a striker. And uh, if I don't look like an idiot on camera, there you go. And uh, so it's the signal fire, they call it. And uh, you could obviously signal for help and uh, start fire if need be. Um, I have actually started a tinder bundle on fire um, when I was out on my uh, hunting trip in Michigan with this and it, it works just fine and it's nice and slim and light and it's a two for one so you get the whistle and uh, the fire striker so that's not bad and then you know and this is just you know on the sidelines this is obviously the main event but I mean for them to you know, put the little extra in there. You know, I don't know how, how long that this will last, how many strikes you get or, you know, whatever. Obviously, the whistle should be fine unless you get it gunked up with stuff. But it's just plastic. You can probably clean it out. But, uh, I mean, for giving it to you, plus, you know, a very decent knife for 20 bucks. I mean, I don't think you could go wrong. So, if your local Walmart has, um, you know, one of these, definitely pick it up. I mean, for nothing less than... You know, just getting a great value, plus it's a SOG, and uh, I like the camo print, that's pretty cool, and uh, it, I mean, it's a decent EDC blade, if you don't, you know, if you're one of those guys that uh, the knife has to be under 4 ounces, you know, th this probably isn't for you, but, um, you know, the weight of it would definitely help with the, uh, the impact tool part of it, and, uh, you know, it's metal, um, I don't think these are aluminum, I think they're just steel, um, that the frame's made out of, and again, you know, liner lock, but super tough, no blade play whatsoever. So, I mean, for the money, and the name, and the uh, the quality, and uh, usability of uh, all three items that you get for $20, uh, you cannot go wrong. So I highly suggest this for anyone that's just looking for a folding pocket knife, doesn't want to spend a lot of money, but wants a decent knife. Um, someone looking for like a budget EDC knife, just another knife to add to the collection. You know, this would be great to throw in like a, a little bug out bag, a get home bag, or, you know, something like that as an extra folder. It's cheap. You just write it off, forget about it. You don't have to worry about putting your bench mate in there when you're nice spider coes, whatever. You know, and, and it functions just fine. So, simple, reliable, utilitarian, but it's a real nice knife. So, the SOG Fielder, go check it out. This is terribly tactical, reminding you to stay safe, stay armed, always be prepared, 
And don't ever think about treading on me. Peace, guys.